Hi, just doing a few more Cutlery Lover inspired knife videos. This is one of my very favourite knives and we've had this about 20 years uh, as part of a set which came from uh, Debenhams which is a well known uh, department store uh, in Britain. Um, and this is a Cook's knife. Uh, this is a particularly nice one. Um, I've used this a lot. It's a hard quality stainless steel which means it's a little difficult to get an edge on it but it will keep the edge quite well. Standard sort of rosewood handle with a couple of um, uh, with three um, nice brass parts and this is my general purpose knife and a do anything knife and I'm preparing a stir fry uh, today um, so I'm beginning with an onion we grew this one ourselves this is an onion for an hour uh, uh, allotment not our allotment our um, a piece of uh, vegetable growing area there's a Julia asked me to use this one first because it's got a bit of fungus in it uh, as you often will have okay general purpose pretty useful knife you want to be careful with all knives not to cut yourself here um, where I'm sort of moving backwards you know I'm, um, my fingernails are not like this okay my fingers are like this so they I move the fingers backward and I feel the knife across them moving your uh, another thing about knife is you can use it to pick stuff up with okay so you, you can use it to pick up things I'm moving the onion here so just constantly be slicing it up it's an advantageous angle to be slicing it with okay got some onions in here gonna do a, a red pepper as well fully in so this is a bit of a cookery video um, so you know, answer this as a cutlery, a good old cutlery lover. He likes to spend a lot of time talking about the knives. So what I'm trying to do is show you what I actually use them for. Um, that's not a criticism, by the way, not in any sense whatsoever. The great thing about YouTube is the liberty it gives us to, you know, just show what we want to do. You know, and I'm, a, you know, I'm this guy. Who, I, mean, I got to work. I'm a doctor. I have an orchard. I play a bit of guitar when I feel like it, and I cook at home as well. I happen to think the world would be a better place if more men cooked at home. That's, I've, I've said that in my book, which I published, self-published, as a ch church fu extension fundraiser some while ago. Chop a little bit of ginger here as well. And obviously you don't use as much ginger, just slicing the side off. As I said in my fundraising book, um, I think a lot of men, one of the reasons that men tend not to cook is because most cookery books are female oriented and I think men really respond to a much simpler I must think not to take my eye off what I'm doing and cut myself here that would be so easy to do and so tragic chopping this up I, I think that it, the world would be in many ways a better place if men would cook a bit more but anything else their wives wouldn't be so tired all the time you know, so many women say well, I'm tired all the time you know what I'm saying gentlemen and They'd be less tired if you did cook it occasionally. Okay, right, here's um, a courgette. How am I going to do this? I think I've done that first because I'm, um, I'm stir frying this, and the essence of stir fry is to, to, you spend quite a lot of time preparing and not very much time cooking, and you slice in the stuff up thin so it'll cook quickly. By the way, all, not all of these items of food, I'm not going to show you me actually cooking. Not all of these food items need the same amount of cooking. Um, in fact, uh, most of this certainly courgette. No problem eating them raw whatsoever. Right, there's some courgettes. And now finally they're lumped with pork. Um, this is a piece of my roast pork joint. I cooked a bit of roast pork cooked with a bit of teriyaki, oven roasted with a bit of teriyaki sauce the other day and I'm slicing this up thin, it's already been cooked you see what handy general purpose cook's knife this is it took me quite a while before I got my hand into using a knife like this now the funny thing is, and this is an interesting point although Julia's a better cook than me, it does more cooking probably, oh, all things considered taking the fat off of that once the fat uh, um, she doesn't ever hardly ever uses a knife like this I find it I don't understand why that is uh, but she very much strongly prefers to use some um, 
uh, oh, I can't find it. Uh, but a knife, a bit like this with a serrated blade, I'm just going to turn the, uh, the noodles off, they'll be done by now. And then I'll crack off on the wall. Anyway, but, uh, Ken Home, a great writer, a great cookery, uh, Chinese cookery writer, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's written a couple of really nice books, and one of them says, yeah, we hate waste, Chinese people cannot abide waste. Um, and the idea of using you know, reheated meat for another meal, some people might be offended by that. Hey, I'm offended by waste. And uh, you know, it's really a bad thing to waste food. Uh, but if you cook a joint and then allow, the, allow it to cool down at the, and put it in the fridge carefully wrapped up, then you know, it's, it would just are no hygiene or taste issues whatsoever connected with that. Oh, last thing, yet yeah, a bit of cabbage. I'm glad to say this is a homegrown cabbage, a real deal. Look at that, what a beauty this is. We've already had a couple of meals off of this. Um, cabbage goes well in the stir fryer. You get a feel of exactly how to cut things up. But this beef cooks nice, it's definitely the one to use. Alright, so here we are. Here's, uh, just going to pick up the camera and show you roughly what I'm doing. Now normally I'd chop some garlic up and put in this, but I'm not going to do that. You know why? Uh, for one reason, one reason alone, I'm going to use some hoisin sauce on this. Mm, there's a lot of garlic in it. Right. Okay, that's for what? A little bit rusty, doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are, there's some uh, red pepper, onion, courgette, a little bit of ginger, leftover pork, cabbage, and uh, there's a the wok. What I'm going to do in a little while, I'm going to start frying the onions, use a little bit of corn flour oil, corn oil I mean, uh, peanut oil. Uh, I'm going to fry the, start frying the onions first, then I'm going to chuck the cabbage in, probably and the other vegetables. Then I'll put them to one side and I'll fry the uh, um, leftover bits of pork and I'll bung a good deal. I might bung a little bit of cider in there. If it gets sticky, don't put more oil in. Um, hey, it's turning into a cookery video, it's really about nice. Alright. <laughs> anyway, this is the, the good old cook's knife. Um, there's no other knife I find as useful as this one uh, in the kitchen. And um, there is a knife rack, so I might just possibly do a video about a few more of my favourite cookery knives in a little while. But come on, men, get, do a bit of cooking for your wife, and she might not be so tired all the time.